Well, hello, my name's Andy Wolfe. I'm the Deputy Chief Education Officer for the Church of England and a huge uh, welcome to this year's C of E PQH. We're delighted that you're joining the cohort and although this is a very unusual way uh, to be getting our uh, programme started, we are thrilled that you're with us and uh, beginning your MPQH journey with the Church of England Foundation for Educational Leadership. Uh, my role nationally is to oversee the foundation and all its programmes, uh, its extensive networks and uh, research. Prior to doing this role nationally, I was a senior leader in a big Church of England um, secondary school in Nottingham, which is where I still live, and was really involved in writing the Church of England Vision for Education back in 2016. I don't know whether you've read it yet, but if you haven't, uh, you should certainly uh, get hold of that. And uh, that's going to be a sort of foundational document for some of our journey together. And uh, we hope that you find that um, inspiring in terms of shaping your practice. The Foundation's vision nationally is to develop inspirational leaders who are called, connected and committed to deliver the Church of England's vision for education. And our training for new and aspiring head teachers is fundamental uh, to that. This is the fourth cohort of this programme that we are running and many hundreds of leaders have gone through that over the past uh, three years and it's been just brilliant to see you know, leaders right, right across the country from the tip of Cornwall to the north of Northumberland um, getting involved in that programme and now leading confidently and effectively in their um, school context. So that sense of um, vision-based uh, Leadership is, you're going to find part of this programme um, uh, and the way that it underpins all of that. And as I say, do um, check out the Church of England Vision for Education document. Uh, the other thing you should really uh, get stuck into is a document we published about this time last year. It's entitled Called, Connected and Committed. And I wrote it with Professor David Ford. Um, David is a theology professor at Cambridge University and he chaired the group originally that wrote the Church of England Vision for Education and he and I uh, came together to write this document um, to look at the kind of leadership practices that actually underpin our outworking of the vision. I'm sure that through um, this time that we're facing at the moment, uh, you know, many of our organisations, our vision comes um, to the fore, doesn't it? When we're under pressure, when we're having to make tough decisions, often rapid decisions, but very few of us uh, will learn a great deal uh, about an organisation simply by reading its mission statement or its website or so on. We learn uh, by our experience of leadership, um, not just by reading documentation. And people are learning about your vision and values by your decision making and your leadership practices, what you habitually do day in, day out. And in this time, uh, that we are living through at the moment. That has probably never been more important. So we'll be focusing on how to unpack that in all different aspects of school leadership, whether it be curriculum design, budgeting, difficult conversations, uh, behaviour management, um, et cetera, et cetera, looking at how that plays out in different contexts. We're really pleased that uh, our C of E, P, Q, H participants are part of a much wider movement that the foundation has got going over the last three or four years. And um, some of you will know the scale and scope of the Church of England, um, you know, nearly 5,000 schools, uh, just over 1 million children being educated in those Church of England schools. And um, across all our dioceses, really, there isn't a part of the country that we don't cover. A particular um, warm welcome to those of you from smaller rural schools. Uh, you know, a real, real focus for us, obviously, because we uh, run so many of them, around two thirds of all rural schools are Church of England schools. So huge welcome um, to you. And as we seek to build that wider movement, you'll be joining many hundreds who've gone through this programme already. Um, well over a thousand schools who are part of our peer support network um, in various dioceses across the country. And perhaps many of you will have been involved in that. And there's some great ways of staying in touch with that wider movement, whether it be through our social media stuff, the regular call, connected, committed um, emails that we send each Monday. Do make sure you sign up for those to keep yourself uh, in the loop on all of that. But huge welcome from me. Uh, we're delighted that you've chosen to do the MPQH for the Church of England. And as that continues to expand in the coming years, we're thrilled that you'll be a part of it. 
don't hesitate to reach out to any of the team, uh, whether it be the course leaders, the administrative staff, uh, myself, uh, do connect with us. It's a, it's a really great um, team, a fantastic group of facilitators right across the country, and I'm sure that you are in for a real treat. So welcome aboard um, to the programme. Any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. And we look forward to welcoming you into this program and into this wider movement of inspirational leaders who are called, connected and committed to deliver the Church of England's vision for education. Thanks.